在介绍斯塔拉克之前我想特意要说明这三个讲座得到中央美术学院研究生研会学术部的特殊资质三位大师尤其赞赏中央美术学院学生如此主动的担当起学院的学术引导的角色作为主持人我的主要任务是介绍艺术家今天的嘉宾斯泰洛克很容易在开讲前介绍斯泰洛克斯泰洛克自身的存在已经自我描述的淋漓尽致我也无需要介绍他的成就他的行为艺术只震
Human beings seem to become smaller in this modern era. Uh,不是诗诗人如米曾说，任何新的感知的诞生来自于必要需求。那么，Stalak三只耳朵、三只手是来自什么样的？呃，必须需求呢？不多说了，让我们用热烈的掌声欢迎艺术家Stalak。so, during the past few years, a lot of hymns have just been sung about this integration between art and technology. But I asked the question about necessity. So, as uh, the poet Lumi said, each uh, invention of new sensation comes out of a necessity. So, what is the necessity that has driven the invention or the insertion of the third ear on his arm? of uh, Mr. Stellak. So without much ado, let's give the floor to the artist, Mr. Stellak. Uh, between 1973 and 1975, I made uh, three films of the inside of my body. I filmed uh, three meters of internal space. 那么，在一九七三到七五年间呢，我在我的体内拍摄了三部电影，总共拍摄的是我体内器官三米的长度。This uh, was not for any medical reason, <笑> but rather uh, for an artistic intention. 那么，这并不是有任何的医学上的需求或者原因，是一种艺术的追求。so these films of the inside of the lungs, uh, the stomach and the colon, um, really the experience was of the body not only as a structure, but a series of empty spaces. So ontologically and technologically, there's no longer any meaningful distinction between internal and external spaces of the body. And increasingly now, there's no distinction between the living and the dead. In fact, uh, Frederick Nietzsche, the philosopher, uh, uh, stated that the living are only a species of the dead. So we know now that we can plastinate and indefinitely preserve a dead body. Uh, dead bodies now need no longer disintegrate. Dead bodies continue to have a material existence. 那么时至今日, 这些尸体已经不用去降解、去分解了，他们可以持续的以一种物质的形式存在下去。and of course, we can display anatomical bodies in ways that couldn't be displayed before. 而且我们现在去展示这种解剖的尸体的方式也是前所未有的。But uh, whilst we can preserve a cadaver forever, we can also indefinitely sustain a comatose body on a technological life support system whilst cryogenically preserved bodies await reanimation at some imagined future. 那么我们不仅可以基本上是没有限度的,没有时间限度的去保存一具尸体,我们还可以让一个植物人通过这种各种机器的支持,让它无限长的能够存活下去。
So for me, is a, a, a zombie is a body without a mind of its own. A cyborg is a hybrid human machine system. We fear the involuntary. We're always anxious about becoming automated, but we fear what we have always been. We've always been a zombie bodies, and we've already become prosthetically augmented cyborg bodies. 那么什么是一个丧尸？它就是一个身体没有自己的灵魂，没有自己的大脑。那么什么是一个赛博格？就是一个人体和机器的一个结合体。那么我们一直害怕失去自主性，一直害怕一切变得自动化。但实际上，我们所害怕的早已经成为了现实，就是这种。僵尸化的或者丧尸化的身体，而且我们也已经成为了这样一种通过假肢进行增强的这种赛博格式的身体已经存在了。So in this increasingly a video, virtual, and vicarious world, the body tries to reassert its materiality, and not as a site for the psyche, nor for social inscription, but rather a site that needs to be sculpted. The body not as an object of desire, but rather an object that requires redesigning. 那么，在我们这样一个日益充斥着视频、虚拟以及可替代性的世界之中呢，我们的身体想要去强调自己的一个物质性，但不是作为一个灵魂的处所，或者作为一个社会需求的一个定义的地方，而是存在于它是一个将要被雕塑的一个物体。那么，我们的身体已经不再是欲望的对象。而成为了这样一些我们需要去重新设计的对象。And it was a lengthy process of approximately one year to ensure that he met the true criteria to be the right patient for this transplant. And sure enough, he did meet this criteria. At that time, we described a procedure which would essentially restore everything which was not functioning and appearing normal on his face, which included portions of the scalp. Through the forehead, the upper lower eyelids, the nose, upper lower lips, soft tissues of the chin, down to the level of the neck, and the underlying structures, which included the upper jaw, bones around the eye sockets, the upper teeth, the lower teeth, as well as the anterior portions of the tongue. Dr. Rodriguez, uh, he suffered a, a gunshot uh, accident back in 1997. Uh, amazingly, his his sight wasn't affected. His he still had. His vision, but as you say, he could. He can now smell something he probably hasn't been able to do what for for 15 years. He is. He's now talking.、Uh, tell us about、uh, the moment that that he was able to do these things. So the face from the donor body, stitched to the skull of the recipient, becomes a kind of third face resembling neither. 那么我们看到，刚刚呢是一个这个呃，曾经就因为枪走火，他的脸整个毁掉了。现在呢是有一个呃遗体捐献者，这个人的脸被整整个缝制在了这个受害者的脸上。现在他有了第三张脸，这第三张脸既不属于捐献者，也不属于这个病人。Um, the partial head project involved scanning the artist's face. And also scanning a hominid skull. 那么我们说，呃，这个新的项目叫做部分的头骨。那么它涉及呢这么一种呃三 D 的扫描。首先是扫描这个艺术家的一个脸。
然后呢，同时呢，也去扫描一个呃史前原始人类的一个头骨。So the human face was then digitally transplanted over the hominid skull, constructing a kind of third face, one that becomes post hominid and pre-human in form. The 3D printed scaffold was then seeded with living cells. The partial head then becomes a partial portrait of the artist, which was partially living for a few days. <laughs> 那么我们知道这个这个艺术家的脸就被以数字的方式整个重新移植到了这个原始人的头骨之上，也创造出了一个第三张脸。那么这张脸的存在是后原始人，同时也是前人类的一种存在。那么这个三 D 打印的这张脸呢，被植入了这种活的细胞。所以说，整个这个项目叫“部分的头骨”，或者说它也是一个艺术家的一部分的一个肖像。同时呢，它也是有一部分存活着，实际上它存活了几天。So this is a time of circulating flesh and fractal flesh, and by circulating flesh. I mean that you can take the organ from one body and insert it into another body. You can stitch the cat of a hand onto the limb of an amputee and reanimate that hand. 那么接下来这个部分叫做循环的或者是分形的肉体。这是一个什么意思呢？就是我们现在的身体的部分或者器官已经可以循环使用了。呃，比如说，呃，一个一个去世的人的这个手臂，啊、呃，这个死死者的手臂，可以被重新移植到一个呃手臂被呃曾经移除的一个一个没有手臂的人的手上，所以这个手臂也得到了重生。I met the first double hand transplant at a Paris medical conference, and only after six months, his cat of a hands had a rudimentary sense of temperature, pressure. And texture. 那么我第一次见识这个是在巴黎的一家医院里面。当时有一个病人，他是双手都被截肢了。后来呢，被他移植了两只手。那么实际上是过了大概半年的时间，他的双手才有了感觉，能够感觉到质地，感觉到温度。It's also a time of what I call fractal flesh, where bodies and bits of bodies spatially separated. But electronically connected, generate recurring patterns of interactivity at varying scales, and that's just simply a definition of the internet. 那么另外一个叫做分形的肉体，就是这些肉体存在于分开的不同的空间之中。那么通过无论是网络还是其他的形式，它们可以以某种形式产生互动，或者有同时的一种同步的动作。这实际上呢，也是因特网的一个基本架构。Um, these series of performances were done、uh, between 1976 and 1989. Here, the body is suspended within a tensegrity icosahedron.、Uh, cut one of those cables, and the whole structure collapses. 那么，呃，这是我的一系列的悬挂项目。是从一九七六年到一九八九年之间做的。那么我的身体被悬挂在这里，然后整个的这个结构是一种非常非常精细的结构。如果你把其中的任何的一根线切断，整个的这个呃结构都会崩塌。Uh, the body hoisted up and lowered down a lift well. 那么这是在一个这个竖井里面，我的身体。被悬挂，有的时候是被提高，有的时候是被放去去下降。And the body counterbalanced by a ring of rocks。那么这就是呃，周围的那一圈石头，实际上跟我的体重相等，产生了一种均衡。我们悬在空中。Uh, one rock for each insertion point, and the body was in fact gently swaying. From side to side, setting up random oscillations in the rocks. 那么实际上，呃，每一每一块石头是连着一根钩子，钩在我的身上的。那当时我是在空中左右的摇摆，每一次摇摆也会让相应的那块石头产生震颤。
Uh, this performance ended when the telephone rang in the gallery. <laughs> 这这场行为艺术的表演是当时有一个人的那个手机响了，然后就停下来了。嗯、um, ，This performance was in Japan, 300 meters、uh, offshore. When we arrived, there were、uh, some fishermen、uh, fishing on a nearby outcrop of rocks. They were fishing before we arrived. They were fishing during the performance. And they were still fishing when we left. <笑>那么这个是在日本做的一次行为艺术的表演。我被悬挂的地方呢是进入海面以内三百米。当时我们去的时候呢，周围有一些渔民正在打鱼。我们来之前他们就在打鱼。我被悬挂的整个过程他们在打鱼。我悬挂完了，他们还在打鱼。So these suspensions are are really experiences in bodily sensation. Expressed in bodily action, in remote spaces, and in diverse situations, they're not actions for interpretation, nor do they require any explanation. They are not meant to generate any meaning; rather, they are sites of inertia and states of erasure. 那么这些悬挂项目呢，是一些身体的一些感觉体验。那么，以一种身体的在遥远的空间以及不同的场域之中的形式被表达出来。那么，这些行动，身体的行动，不需要任何的阐释、解释，它也不需要任何的解释。他们就是一种，嗯，他们也并并并不是想要去产生任何的意义，而是一种惯性的场域，或者说也是一种擦除、消除的这么一种状态。The body here is suspended in an upright position、uh, from a gantry crane. The body is holding a control box, which means the body can choreograph its own movements. 那么这个这次悬挂呢，我是直立的被悬挂，然后呢，我手里面是握着类似于一个遥控，所以呢，我在空中的时候可以控制自己被悬挂的方式，就像编舞一样。Um, everyone thought it was just going to be an up and down performance, but in fact, the body propels itself forwards. It can go forwards, backwards, sideways,、uh, left and right. And when I stopped suddenly or started suddenly, the body would swing, an, an unexpected part of the、uh, choreography. <laughs> 那么一开始观众以为我这个移动是会垂直上下移动，结果我让他们吃惊了。我是可以前后左右，也可以原地转圈的这种移动。但是呢，当我突然间一下启动或者突然间一下停下来的时候，我就会像钟摆一样左右摇动。这倒是计划之外的。Uh, this performance began when the body lifted off the ground and ended when the body touches down. 那么这个表演呢，是从我的身体。被拽离地面开始，那么到我又踩上地面的时候就结束了。The body was suspended over East 11th Street in New York.、Um, it was meant to be a 30-minute performance, but the police stopped it after 12 minutes. 那么我的身体呢，也有一次是在纽约的东十一街被悬挂起来。当时呢，我们原本是想悬挂三十分钟的，结果十二分钟警察就来了。Um, I had a good view of the police cars that were arriving in all directions,、um, and、uh, I was arrested and charged not for performing uh, uh, publicly nude,、uh, not for performing some sadomasochistic action. Rather, I was arrested for being a danger to the public. 那么当时呢，我被悬在空中。我是非常好整以暇的欣赏了纽约市的警车呃凑集而来的这种场景，那么后来我就被逮捕了。我被逮捕的原因罪名并不是因为我裸体，也不是因为我在施行一种类似于虐待的一种行为，而是因为我悬在空中对其他人的安全造成了一种隐患。Um, the suspension performance in Copenhagen was above the Royal Theatre. 
um, and the uppermost height was 60 meters. 那么在哥本哈根的这一次悬吊的表演呢，我们是悬吊在这个皇家剧院的上空。我当时被吊起来有六十米高。After thirty meters, all I could hear was the whooshing of the wind, the whirring of the crane motors, and the creaking of the skin. <笑>那么，当我被吊到三十米以上的高度的时候，我只能听到三种声音。第一个是耳边呼啸的风声，第二个是把我吊上去的那个吊车的声音，第三个好像是我的皮肤的滋滋的声音。So the realization、uh, in doing these performances was not so much about human prowess, but rather how inadequate and vulnerable the human body was. In fact, the body is radically obsolete. 那么，在进行了这一系列行为艺术的实践之后，我所意识到的并不是人体的一种强大，相反是人体的一种脆弱。那么，我意识到人体某种意义上已经过时了。And having explored the physiological, psychological limitations of the body,、uh, there was a desire to augment the body in some ways. And the third hand was the first、um, attachment、uh, to my body. 那么，在我去体验了人体的各种极限之后呢，我就有了一种欲望，我想要去增强我的身体。所以，这个项目就是第三只手，是我第一次这种体外外接机械设施的这么一种实践。Ah,、uh, the third hand was actuated. By electrodes on the abdominal and leg muscles. 那么这个第三只手呢，是接受来自我的腿以及腹部发过来的这种肌肉电讯号。Uh, allowing independent movements of the three hands. 然后呢，也能够让我的这第三只手能够非常非常有这种独立的行动。And at the time, sophisticated enough. To get invitations from the Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena and the Johnson Space Center in Houston to demonstrate the hand to the extravehicular activity group. 那么当时呢，我这个机械手臂的这个运转是非常精密的，以至于引引起了美国国家航空航天局 NASA 的注意。他们邀请我去给他们一起开会，指导他们的宇航员进行太空行走。Uh, the, the third hand was initially just a visual attachment to the body, and used uh, uh, as as a as an augmentation of the body, as an extra hand, as a third hand. 那么一开始的时候呢，这个第三只手仅仅是一种身体上的一种外接设施，作为一种身体的增强。The philosopher Marshall McLuhan、um, asserted that. Uh, technology was the external organs of the body. 就像这个 Marshall McLuhan 所说的，技术就是我们身体的外在器官。In other words, we've evolved as, as these soft bodies with internal organs. Now we have to engineer external organs to manage the technological terrain that we now inhabit. 那么过去呢，是我们这个体内的器官控制着我们的这样的一个身体去行动。那么现在呢，我们就要去控制一些体外的器官，去面对、处理这样一个外在的技术的世界。Uh, my first attempt to do something useful with the three hands. Here I'm writing one word. Each hand writing a separate letter at the same time. I had to keep my two eyes on what my three hands were doing, and because this performance was、uh, done on a sheet of glass between the artist and the audience, I also had to learn to write it back to front. <laughs> 那么，呃，我第一次尝试着用我的第三只手去做一些有用的事情的。呃，实践呢，就是我用我的三只手一起写了一个英文单词 evolution。那么呢，我当时的情况是要用我的两只眼睛同时控制我的三只手
，然后我的三只手呢还要去同时去写这个单词，而且我还要意识到我是写在一个玻璃上，玻璃之后是观众，所以我还要倒着写。In this third-hand performance,、uh, lasers were directed to the eyes using optic fiber cable, and the eyes were able to scribble images in the space. 那么这是另外的一场行为艺术的表演。当时呢，在我的眼睛里面植入了一些激光，我可以通过我的眼睛的一些运动，在空中画出一些图案。Amplified brain waves, heartbeat. Blood flow and muscle signals were amplified. 那么我身体的一切的讯号，心电图、脑电图，我的等等一切数据都被放大。Ah,、uh, this performance began when the body was switched on. 那么在我的身体的开关被打开的那一瞬，这个表演开始。And the performance ended when the body was switched off. 然后当我把我的身体的开关关掉的时候，表演结束。So the body now has become this contemporary chimera of meat, metal, and code, of biology, technology, and data. 那么实际上，呃，我们的结果是什么呢？我们造就了一个像希腊神话里的奇美拉这样的怪兽。这个怪兽原本是狮头、羊身、蛇尾的。那么这里呢，我们是结合了我们的肉体、金属和代码。The extended arm、um, was a, a, a prosthesis that、uh, makes my right arm of primate proportions。那么这个项目呢，叫做呃延伸的手臂。我通过这个一只，把我的右手延伸到了这个长臂猿的长度。But whilst the right arm is extended, the left arm is involuntarily moving、uh, via a computer-controlled muscle stimulation system. 那么我的左手呢是被另外的一些信号所控制，也是不受我自己控制的，会进行运转。Ah,、uh, this was a four-hour continuous performance. 这是一个长达四连续四小时的一个行为艺术表演。It was streamed live, and the 3D model that you see mimics the movements of the the actual mechanism. 那么这是一个通过这个 3D 的数据模拟的这么一个呃整个的一个表演。我们看到后面的这个屏幕上就是那个 3D 的模型。It didn't take much imagination that if you could、uh, manipulate the body locally. You might be able to do it remotely. This is the muscle stimulation control box. The blue switches indicate which muscles could be pre-programmed. 那么，如果我们可以在本地、现在这个地方控制我们的身体，我们就可以在远程控制我们的身体。那些蓝色的色块就是表示你可以控制哪一块的身体的肌肉。Ah,、uh, by touching the computer model. The computer model moves, and then a second later in Luxembourg, where my body was, my body moves involuntarily. 那么上一张图里面我们看到有一个身体的模型。如果说呃在远程有一个人去点击身体上的一个部分，那么一些数据讯号就会被传达到当时他在卢森堡的现场。那么通过远程。人们可以去控制艺术家的身体。So this becomes a kind of split body experience. On the left side, voltage in, involuntary movements. On the right side, voltage out, controlling、uh, a third hand. 所以实际上呢，就是我整个的身体都是通过这种电流的讯号，能够去进行远程的控制。那么两个手臂之间还能产生互动。A ping body was a performance online, but instead of people in other places 
actu actuating the body, we used the PING protocol, pinged 40 global locations during uh, the, the, the time of the performance and the reverberating pings measured in milliseconds were mapped to the body's muscles and the body becomes a crude barometer of internet activity. 那么这次呢，不是通过这种线上你去触摸一个模型，而是说呢，这种全球的四十个地方会发出这种“ping”的询问信号。那么这些讯号也被转化为数据，能够控制这个艺术家的身体和肌肉。那么这这这个他的身体
那么这个新的项目呢，叫做左右开弓的手臂。那么它同时是右手，也是左手。它的那个所有的这种手指头可以向正向，可以向反向，拇指也可以向正向、反向去移动。你可以把它当做右手使用，也可以当做左手使用。So if you're an amputee who lost your right hand, why not replace it with an ambidextrous hand? Sometimes two left hands. Can maybe perform a task better. 那么，如果你是一个右手被截肢的病人，那么是不是可以考虑装一个这样的左右开弓的右手作为假肢？这样的话呢，你的右手既是右手也是左手。有的时候你有两只左手，其实更加的方便。So the body has become this modified biology, accelerated by metal with a speed that far exceeds its metabolic and muscular capabilities. The body's sensory experience now is distributed and shared online. So in this situation, our body has gone through this modified biology, and it has also gone through the speed. 那么现在我们的速度是远远超出我们人体的这种新陈代谢的或者肌肉本身的能力的。那么我们所拥有的一种感官的体验也被分享到互联网上。Exoskeleton was a six-legged walking robot developed in Hamburg and with the help of F18 for artist engineers. 那么这个项目呢，叫做外骨骼。呃，我是制造了一个有六条腿的可以行走的机器人。这个项目呢，是在德国的汉堡制作的。So this was the first performance I did wearing clothes. 那么这是我做的第一个穿着衣服做的项目啊。When I first stood on the robot, it was hitting the concrete so hard that I couldn't stand the shock through my body, and I had to wear shockproof boots. 那么一开始我站在这个机器人的上面的时候，那个整个的震动。是过于的强烈，所以我不得不去呃穿这种减震靴。Uh, having to wear shockproof boots, I thought it prudent to also wear some clothes. 那么我想，既然都穿了靴子了，不如穿点衣服吧。<笑> The muscle machine, uh, whereas exoskeleton is three meters in diameter, muscle machine is five meters in diameter. 那么这个叫做肌肉机器，呃，原先的那个外骨骼呢是三米的一个半径，这个是五米，就是整个的它这个形态更大了。And this uh, uh, robot uh, was simply a walking machine that translates human bipedal gait into a six-legged walking insect-like locomotion. 那么实际上，这个机器很简单，它就是一个行走的一个机器。那么它能够把人的这种两足的行走的步态，转变成像昆虫一样的六足前进的步态。啊、uh, ，lifting one leg up, lifted six,、uh, three robot legs up to swing forward. So by stepping up and down, you could、uh, sequentially switch、uh, the movements of the Three robot legs and move forwards, backwards, or uh, 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 turn around. 那么实际上，我们去动抬起来一只腿的时候，我就可以控制三条机器的腿。
那么同时左腿也可以控制另外三条。那么通过这种控制，我们就可以实现这个机器的腿的前进、后退或者转圈。The walking head is a six-legged、uh, walking robot, but it's an autonomous robot. The rotating ultrasound sensor detects. If someone is in 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 the gallery, if someone is in the gallery, the robot stands, selects from its library of possible movements, performs a simple choreography. 那么这个项目呢叫做行走的头颅。那么这个有一些不一样，它是一个完全自动能够去行走的一个六足机器人。那么它的前方呢会有一个传感器。如果说你就是有有这个观众到了面前，他能够意识到有观众在，那么他就会从自己的整个的这种行动库里面调取一部分出来，为这个观众现场跳一支舞。So when the robot finishes. Uh, the robot sits down, goes to sleep, and waits for the next person to come along. 那么一曲终了的时候呢，机器人就会原地坐下，然后他就睡去了，直到下一位游人将他唤醒。So the intent of this project was to engineer an actual virtual system where the mechanical movements of the legs modulate the facial behavior of the head. 那么我们的整个的这个的意图呢，就是想要去制造一种实际和虚拟系统的一种二元互动。那么实际上呢，我们希望这种呃腿的运动可以是被这个它的这种呃可以去形成它的脸的不同的样子。Project that has never been realized. A, a, a six-legged walking robot with a webcam mounted on its back. The idea was to engineer a small robot,、uh, robust enough, reliable enough to be able to climb up my tongue and into my mouth. I have to be careful not to swallow. 那么这个项目是一直没有能够真正实现的，所以我们看到了现在只是一个三 D 的虚拟。我们想造的是一个六足的机器人，它上面也携带着这个摄像机。我们希望呢，它是有足够的可靠，也足够的结实，它能够也非常的小，能够一直走进我的嘴里。但是我要小心，不要把它咽下去。A kind of artistic gesture towards the increasing intimacy with our machines. In other words, with micro and nano scale technology, now. Technology will be able to inhabit the inside of the human body. Will be able to recolonize the human body with nanoscaled、uh, robots and sensors. In other words, all technology in the future might be invisible because it's inside the human body. 那么实际上呢，整个这个项目是一种诗意的表现，人。与科技之间的一种亲密无间的关系，因为在现在的这个时代，我们有很多微小的甚至是纳米级别的技术，它们已经可以被移植进人体之内。所以说，这也是一种科技对于人体的再殖民、再占领。那么，在未来，我们的体内可能有很多很多的机器人，很多很多这种传感器，他们在未来是看不到的，因为他们太小，他们存在于我们的体内。I will also now show some、uh, recent robots that I think are interesting. 我也跟诸位分享一些我近期的一些新的机器人的有意有意思的案例。But before I do that, <laughs> the three ideas that I think are, are really important、uh, to understand their relationship、uh, with with、uh, technology. Um, is actor network theory,、uh, Bruno Latour, object-oriented ontology,、uh, Graham Harman, and the Internet of Things. 那么，在我跟诸位分享之下来的几个例子之前呢，我要先说这三个理论，我觉得是支持这些项目的一个基础。一个是布鲁诺拉图尔的
呃一个呃演员，或者是呃呃能动主体的网络理论。第二个呢，是一个呃以。目标为导向的本体论是由 Graham Harman 所创造的。另外呢，就是物联网的理论。Um, the actor network theory and object-oriented ontology are both flattened ontologies, but they emphasize two different aspects of our relationship with objects. 那么头两种理论呢，都是一种扁平化的本体论的理论，但他们所强调的重点不同。Uh, the human is never prefaced, rather objects, microbes,、uh, algorithms, other bodies、um, are important only in their relationships in a network. 那么一种理论是说呢，呃，人体是更重要的。那么人体以外的其他的存在，他们的重要性只是因为他们会跟人体产生关系，他们才有重要性。Whereas O O O emphasizes、um, the object, an object no longer ready at hand in a Heideggerian sense, but rather an object that withdraws from other objects and other humans. 那么第二种理论就是这个 O O O 的理论呢，是说，呃，客体并不是呃随时呃存在于这个、呃、这种呃物外在的世界之中的，而是以一种呃海德格尔的理论体系之中不断的收缩、后退的这么一种存在。And Harman's idea of objects is very interesting. You can't reduce an object. To its component parts, nor can you evaluate an object from its effects or its relationships. 那么哈曼的这种客体理论是非常非常的奇怪的。他一方面说呢，客体是不能被分解还原为它的组成部分的。另外一点呢，也是我们不能通过这个客体产生的效果去对这个客体本身进行评判和评价。And with the Internet of Things, we're embedding circuitry into objects. Objects can communicate with other objects and other people. Objects become smarter. 那么，在物联网的理论之中，就是物体跟物体之间通过这种植入的集成电路或者其他的方式，可以彼此之间产生沟通，或者物体跟人类之间可以产生沟通。所以，物体变得更加聪明了。And embedded online, they form or they become a system of interacting things. 那么，当他们被上传到网上之后，这种呃物体就成为了一个呃物体的网络，也就是物联网。So this combination of wheels and legs、uh, that they call wegs enables this robot to move fast over a flat surface, but also enabling it with its springy legs to uh, uh, run over obstacles or perform、uh, rather athletic、uh, tasks. I first saw the wegs robots at Case Western Reserve University. 呃，那么他的这个腿呢，是由腿和轮子二者的结合组成的，就是 wheel 跟 leg， 那么合称叫做 wag。那么它可以走得很快，它可以在平面上移动，还可以跳跃障碍，它也非常的具有这种呃非常像运动健将一样的体格，是非常让人印印象非常深刻的。
那么他第一次是在西楚联合大学见到的这个机器人。And you might have seen the latest Boston Dynamics robots,、uh, a very seductive mammalian gait,、uh, a dog-like robot whose neck becomes a manipulator, and it can do basic、uh, tasks. To assist other robots. <laughs> 那么，这个是波士顿动态研究所所做的一个能够像狗一样前行的一个机器人。那么，它上面有一个机械的操纵臂，它可以帮助其他的机器人开门等等。And the Atlas robot, a humanoid robot, 75 uh, uh, kilograms in weight, that can maintain its balance with its bipedal la- uh, 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 gait. It has a, a good spring and it can double somersault.、Um, so this 28 degree of freedom robot is the kind of robot that will be more and more socially interacting with. 那么这个机器人是一米五高，大概七十五千克重。它呢可以以一种两足态前行的状态，呃，前进，而且可以跳跃，还可以翻跟头。那么，它在未来呢是会越来越多能够跟人类产生互动、产生更深远的影响。So these alternate anatomical architectures again go beyond、uh, mere biomimicry. They perhaps initially translate insect-like and animal-like locomotion, but the robots become something other in the translation. 那么我们再一次的回到这里，就是说，这些都是一种另类的解剖建筑。那么它们呢，实际上，呃，是超越了原本的这种仿生学的原理。它们原本是把一些昆虫或者动物的一些移动形式进行这种呃翻译，或者是一种呃借用。但是逐渐的，它们就超越了原本的形式，成为了一种全新的运动形式。And in the realm of humanoid robots, you know, why make、uh, humanoid robots? Well, humans are hardwired、uh, to react to the human face,、uh, to communicate、uh, with speech,、uh, to be affected by facial expressions. 那么接下来让我们来看一看这个类人机器人。我们为什么要去做类人机器人？我们先要说人类的一种互动方式。首先，我们会对人脸产生反应，我们会通过语言进行互动，然后我们会对面部的表情能够进行识别。And interestingly, as robots become more and more human-like in appearance, there is this uncanny valley effect that robots become more and more creepy to interact with. 那么，当机器人变得越来越像人。那我们说存在一种叫做神秘峡谷，就是在某种程度上，这个机器人越来越像人的时候，它就感觉上越来越恐怖怪异。Now is this a, a philosophical barrier to making humanoid robots, or perhaps is it just a, a technological state of the art problem? I suspect it's the latter. 那么这种所谓的神秘峡谷的概念是一种。哲学上的一种障碍吗？还是仅仅是因为我们的技术目前还无法达到这种我们想要的类人的一个相似度？我认为是后者。Because you know, it's not only a problem of creepy robots. We know there are creepy people in the world as well. <笑>因为这个世界，这个世界上不仅存在一些令人毛骨悚然的机器人。存在也有这种令人毛骨悚然的人，对不对 ？If I'm socially inept, if I'm schizophrenic,、um, I have a problem socially interacting. 那么，如果我是一个精神分裂症，我是一个社恐症的患者，那么我去跟其他人互动的时候也会有问题。And、uh, two philosophical quotes that Ken Ronaldo was hoping I would not use. <laughs> One by Nietzsche. Who says there's no being behind the doing? In fact, it's the action itself that's important. You know, the 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 agency is attributed in retrospect. 那么我要引用两个哲学的理念，一个是来自尼采
。尼采说，在行动的背后空无一物。所谓的行动者，不过是一个人类的想象，行动本身就是一切。And Wittgenstein, who asserts that thinking doesn't have to be located in your head, thinking happens with the lips that you speak, with the hands that you write or type. 那么维特根斯坦说呢，实际上思维或者思考并不一定发生在头脑之中。实际上，思考本身发生在我们说话时的嘴唇上。So、发生在我们书写的纸上，发生在我们打字的那个打字打印机上。So we should remember these two philosophical assertions in our interaction with robots and what we consider intelligence and thinking in artificial uh, uh, bodies. 那么实际上，我们在去思考人和机器人的互动，或者是这种人工人和人工智能的互动的时候，可以去思考与以从这两个哲学观点作为出发点或者作为背景。We can now instantly create hyperreal skins by scanning a face or using photogrammetry. 那么现在的技术。我们可以非常非常容易的能够创造出这种超现实、超清晰的人类的身体的影像。So on the surface of a screen, you know, you will not be able to discern the difference between an actual person remotely located and an artificially animated skin of that person. 那么实际上。如果说我们仅仅是从一个屏幕上去看的话，我们已经很难去分辨，呃，究竟是一个人在远程跟进行互动，还是仅仅是由机器，然后披上这个人的所谓的这种皮肤在跟你互动。So,、uh, we're also in this time of phantom flesh, where the body increasingly experiences itself. As its phantom, phantom not as in phantasmagoria, but rather phantom as in phantom limb. To others online, the body appears flickering on and off as digital noise, as a glitch in biological time. 那我们可以把它理解为一种幻影肉体。那么这种身体的体验。他把自己体验为一种幻影，那么这个幻影不是像我们像梦里面见到了那些幻景那样，不是，而是像这种，比如说，呃，失去肢体被截肢的人那种自己体验中那种幻肢那样。那么对于其他的网上的其他的人而言，那么这个身体看起来就好像是呃实时的一一会儿闪一会儿灭，就像是数字的噪音那样的一种存在。So here's Baby X, and this is、um, she's been learning to read words. So here's her first word book. So let's see what she can see. Send her a page, and here we go. Let's see what she. What's this, baby? What's this? What's this? What's this? Good girl. Now see if she knows what the word is. Okay, baby, look over here. Okay, what's this? What's this? Good girl. Right, let's try on something else. Okay. Okay. What's this, baby? Baby, over here. What's this? Baby, look at me. Look at me. What's this, baby? Over here. Over here. Good girl. Well, that's what she's just read. Message. So with this three D three D modeling, high fidelity three D modeling, this combination of neurophysiology and cognitive sciences. Here, with a show and tell、uh, approach, you can teach an artificial entity, an avatar. In this case, a baby avatar modelled on the、uh, on Mark's、uh, baby. You can teach it、uh, to remember words and、uh, recognise objects. 那么实际上呢，这是一个。
基于神经科学和认知科学所做的一个高清晰的三 D 的一个程序。那么，呃，这个程序呢，它是呃一个人工智能的程序，或者说它是一个化身。呃，它的基于呢是这位先生自己的女儿，那么他可以去教这个程序，比如说去认识一些物体等等等等。So with the appropriate facial expressions, uh, with Adequate uh, 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 lip syncing capabilities um, with emotional expressions, then an artificial entity can interact with its interlocutor in very seductive ways. 那么，由于这个人工智能的呃程序，它拥有这种非常细微的面部的表情。包括这种思考的，呃，这种这种这种时间，包括他那种情感的表达，他可以非常非常生动的和这种其他人，呃，进行互动。So skins now, as screens attain an optical and haptic thickness, this thickening collapses the psychological space between bodies. Skins as screens. Exhibit seductive vocabularies of aliveness. 那么实际上，我们现在看到的这种皮肤就成为了一种屏幕，它拥有了这样一种厚度，是一种呃视觉的以及触觉的厚度。那么这种厚度实际上能够去摧毁在不同的身体之间的一种呃心理的壁垒。那么我们拥有了 ，sorry， 对，可以。那么。呃，那么这些作为屏幕的呃皮肤呢，就能够去表达出一种非常具有引诱性的词汇，能够让我们感觉到它是活着的。So the body now increasingly oscillates in operation between its physical form and its online phantom. This oscillation is the quickening coupled with this optical thickening. That fuses the physical and the phantom. In other words, we're no longer performing as physical, biological bodies. Rather, we're also performing as phantom bodies online. 那么实际上，我们看到这个身体就在这种物理的形式以及线上的幻影形式之间不断的摇摆，呃，那么穿穿梭往返。那么这种彼此的摇摆。实际上呢，也是我们能够去把我们的物理的身体和幻影真正的结合起来。那么从那以后呢，我们身体的表演或者表达就不仅仅是物理的身体的表达，同时也是这种线上的幻影的表达。In 1993, I decided to design a sculpture for the inside of my body. 那么，在一九九三年的时候，我决定呢，为我的身体内部创造一种雕塑作品。Uh, closed in a capsule form, you could insert the sculpture down your esophagus into your stomach, which was inflated with air to make it safe to do so. 那么，我的这个雕塑作品是一个很小的，像是一个胶囊一样的东西。然后呢，我要先把我的这个胃部充满了气体，让它膨大，这样能够比较安全。然后就把这个东西吞咽下去，一直把它吞咽到能够到我的胃里。Uh, this was a response、uh, to the theme of the fifth Australian sculpture triennale, which was site-specific works. 那么实际上，当时呢，我创作这个作品。也是对当时的澳大利亚呃雕塑三年展的当年的主题的一种回馈。那么当时这个主题呢叫做呃场域特殊场域雕塑作品。But instead of a sculpture for a public space,、uh, this was a sculpture for a private physiological space. 那么我没有选择在一个公共的室外空间去做一个特定场域作品，我选择了我身体内部的空间去做这样一个作品。So the body here becomes、uh, not a site for the psyche, but simply a host for a work of art, for a sculpture. So in here, my body is not a site for my soul, but a 
所在的地方，而仅仅是一件雕塑作品的一个展出的空间。Inside the stomach, the sculpture opens and closes, extends and retracts, has a flashing light and a beeping sound. <笑>那么，在我的身体之内，在我的胃里面，我的这个小雕塑作品，它可以左右的动，还可以闪光，还可以发出哔哔的声音。Um, Blender was a, a collaborative project、uh, with another artist,、uh, Nina Sellers. 那么这件作品叫做《混合》，是我和另外一位呃艺术家合作的作品 ，Nina Sellers. Uh, both artists underwent a liposuction to extract 4.6 liters of their biomaterial. 那么我们都经过了一个抽取体液的一个过程，每个人各自抽出了四点六升的体液。Ah,、uh, this biomaterial was installed in、uh, a sculpture called Blender. 然后呢，我们这个体液呢。被在一个呃很大的一个像胃一样的雕塑之中进行了混合。It's the kind of inverse to the stomach sculpture. You know, instead of a a sculpture performing in a soft body, here a machine installation becomes the host for a liquid body composed of biomaterial from two artist bodies. 那么实际上，这件作品跟之前那件作品恰恰相反。之前那件作品呢，是这种钢铁的结构进入了柔软的身体组织之内。那么这次呢，是把柔软的这种液体状的身体的体液拿到体外，放在了这种钢筋，就是这种坚硬的这种机器之中进行展示。Ah,、uh, the sculpture is anthropomorphic in scale, and if you approach ah、uh, the installation. Proximity sensors detect the person, and the blender blades are activated, blending the biomaterial. 然后这个作品大概就是跟人的身高差不多，然后它也有一些距离传感器。如果说有观众走到它周围，比如说半米之内，那么它的这个这个搅拌器就开始运转，把我们两个人的两个艺术家的这个体液进行搅拌。So this liquid body that is monitored, blended, and contained is in this machine installation. So in this machine installation, we have the human body, 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 Um, the ear project initially、uh, was designed、uh, to be on my on the side of my head, but this was not a very intelligent anatomical site. 呃，我的这个第三只耳朵呀，原本是想搁在我脸上的，紧挨着我的耳朵边上。但是呢，后来经过这种医学的探讨，觉得在解剖学上这个不太合理。Uh, after a lot of medical consultation. Um, it was found to be、uh, too dangerous to construct an ear on the side of the head because of、uh, possibilities of partial face paralysis. 呃，因为呃，如果要是在我的脸上去装一个第三只耳朵的话，有很大的危险，可能会导致我的面部的肌肉瘫痪。In 2006, though, we finally got a funding. To construct an ear on my arm. 那么在二零零六年，我们终于拿到了经费，能够在我的胳膊上能够植入一只耳朵。Ah,、uh, the scaffold is a biomaterial, ah,、uh, inserted under under under、uh, the skin. 那么这个耳朵呢，是由这种呃生物的材料所制作的，然后被直接植入到了我的胳膊里面。Ah,、uh, the skin is suctioned over the scaffold. 然后我们看到这个呃，整个的这胳膊原本的皮肤也被紧紧的贴合在这个耳朵的形状上面。And after six months, you have tissue ingrowth and vascularization occurring. In other words, the ear becomes a living part 
of the arm, uh, and it has its own blood supply. 那么经过六个月的时间呢，呃，因为这个是纯生物材料的一个植入，那么周围呢开始生成组织，同时也生成了血管，所以说这个耳朵已经成为了我的左手的有机的一部分。那么这个耳朵和我的左手是完全有机的结合在一起的。But here we've inserted a small microphone in the ear, even though my ear was wrapped in bandages, even though the surgeon had a face mask, he could speak to the ear. His voice was picked up and wirelessly transmitted. 那么实际上在这个耳朵里面还有一个非常小的麦克风。那么尽管当时呢，我这个手臂还裹着。重重的纱布，但是他的声音已经可以被我这个植入的耳朵所接收到。So the intent still is to try to electronically augment the ear to internet enable it。那么实际上，我最终的目的呢，是想让我这个手臂上的耳朵能够和互联网进行连接。So this ear is not for me.、Uh, I have two good ears to hear with. Uh, this ear is for people in other places, a kind of remote listening device. 那么实际上，这个耳朵并不是为我设计的，因为我的两个耳耳朵还挺好使的。我的这个耳朵呢，是为了某种程度上是为了在远方的其他的人，通过互联网可以和我这只耳朵进行联系。Uh, this ear uh, generated some other uh, um, uh, performance and art objects. 那么。这个手臂上的耳朵也同时催生了更多的一些行为艺术以及雕塑的作品。A four meter long a sculpture of the ear on my arm。这是一个四米长的一个手臂上的耳朵的雕塑。A performance lying on the sculpture. My body is covered with white clay, and as the body lay, it was a very cold. The body was very warm. Uh, the 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 skin, the clay skin cracks, uh, and the body there uh, becomes part of、um, a sculpture, a kind of counterpoint in scale between a whole a, a, a physical body and a much larger uh, um, uh, a part of the body, an arm with an ear on it. 那么实际上呢，呃，这是另外的一件，就是我的行为艺术作品。我本人赤裸的趴在这个手臂上面。那么当时呢，我身上是抹着这种白灰。那么我的身体是热的，这个手臂是冷的。在这种接触的过程之中，由于温度的下降，我的这个身上的白灰开始逐渐的脱落。那我也就逐渐的和这只手臂融为了一体。Uh, but whilst lying on the sculpture, I thought what would be really interesting. Is to suspend my body above the sculpture. 那我在我趴在这个手臂上的过程之中，我就想象，哎，如果我能够悬挂在它的上空，是不是更有意思 ？So we inserted、uh, 16 hooks into the skin of the back,、um, and when the body was fully、uh, rigged up, 那么我们就找来了十六个钩子，钩在我的后背上。Uh, the body was hoisted up. Then my body was hoisted up. Then my body was hoisted up. Cable takes the full weight of the body because the cable is braided. It untwists, and when it untwists, it begins to spin the body. 那么，当我逐渐的被提升到空中的时候，由于这个钢缆原本是这么拧着劲儿的，那么到空中之后呢，就开始自动的旋转。Um, I thought the spinning might happen、uh, for five minutes. Uh, it it went for fifteen minutes. I started to think that it would take about fifteen minutes to spin the body. I started to think that it would take about fifteen minutes to spin the body. I started to think that it would take about fifteen minutes to spin the body. I started to think that it would take about fifteen minutes to sp
。我会在空中转五分钟，实际上我转了十五分钟。So this performance began when the body was hoisted off the sculpture and ended when the body was lowered down. 那么这这一次行为艺术的表演呢，是始于我被开始掉向空中，那么结束于我被放下来。Um, whereas the other uh, uh, suspension performances were often static, here the body is connected to an industrial robot arm, and it is choreographed for thirty minutes. 那么我一般的这种悬挂的呃行为艺术都是比较静止的，而这个呢是行动的、运动的。我被一个机械的手臂呃控制在空中。他呢也进行了，我事先对他进行了一种编舞，他可以在空中进行各种各样的动作，长达三十分钟那么，在我的身体在空中飞舞了三十分钟之后，身体被放下来，然后呢，我的这个耳朵的雕塑被放上去。What was interesting was that the robot that choreographs the ear is the same robot that carved the ear. The robot effectively was a six degree of freedom CNC machine. 那么实际上，我的这个使用把这个耳朵的雕塑去在空中飞舞的这个机器手臂，也是我当时去雕刻我那个植入身体的耳朵的那个形状的那个机器，所以是一个非常非常高度灵敏的一个机械臂。So increasingly now, the body is coupled and complicit. With technology, the body becomes this extended operational system of bodily metabolism and machine musculature. 那么实际上，随着我们的身体越来越多的和技技术进行这种深度的结合，那么我们的这些呃身体也就成为了呃身体的内在的呃循环运转以及机器的肌肉的一种外在。呃，可操控系统的表达。So for me, there was always a ghost in the machine, but rather not as a vital force that animates, but rather as a fading attestation of the human. 那么在我看来呢，在机器之中一直都存在着一个鬼魂。这个鬼魂呢，并不是一个让机器拥有。自我的生命的一种存在，而是实际上证明了一种人类的逐渐消失的影子。Stickman is a minimal but full-body exoskeleton that algorithmically actuates the body. 那么 ，Stickman 或者叫机球手，又是一个控制全身的这么一个外骨骼，它能够去把其他的信号进行执行。Uh, this is a five-hour continuous performance, but as well as the algorithmic actuation of the body, we recently engineered a mini stick man, where the audience could insert their own choreography by bending the limbs of the mini stick man, pressing play, a kind of electronic voodoo. <laughs> 那么，呃，这个表演呢，是我们通过一个算法。编辑了一个长达五小时的一个舞蹈，它会控制我身体在五个小时里不不停的行动。那么实际上现在我们有一个新的版本，叫做一个迷你版的 Stickman。那么实际上小朋友们都可以去为它进行编舞，你可以自己把这个机器人的手臂扭来扭去，就可以进行编舞了。
exoskeleton arm uh, was for the rewired remix performance uh, where you had six degrees of freedom, actuation of fingers, uh, uh, wrist, elbow and shoulder. 那么这个项目呢叫做外骨骼手臂 This performance uh, was at the Perth Institute of Contemporary Art For five days, uh, six hours every day I could only see with the eyes of someone in London I could only hear with the ears of someone in New York, but anyone, anywhere could access my right arm and involuntarily move it. 那么这个作品当时呢是在珀斯的一个艺术中心里面进行了表演，在五天的时间里面，我每天会表演六个小时。那么我的眼睛在这六个小时里面，每天的六个小时只能看见一个伦敦的人能够看见的东西。我的耳朵只能听见一个位于纽约的人能够听见的东西，而我的右手是被一个程序控制。这个程序任何人上网都可以进行控制。So a sharing of acoustical and visual experiences and a distributing of agency。那么实际上呢，这是一种听觉和视觉的共享体验。以及放弃对于自己身体的一种控制，让他人控制的体验。Uh, the performance is a more recent iteration, uh, four days, five hours every day, uh, within three locations in Europe. 那么我们最近呢，又做了一个新一代的这种行为艺术的表演，是在四天的时间里面，每天五个小时。So you didn't know what to expect at any time, what you were going to see, what you were going to hear, and we had about 1,500 interactions with my arm every day online. 我的眼睛将看到什么，耳朵将听到什么。那么整个的过程之中，大概有呃五十万人次尝试着通过程序控制我的手臂。
Uh, the Reclining Stickman is a project that is now uh, being uh, engineered for the Australian Biennale of Art. It's a, no, it's a uh, nine meter long uh, sculpture, five meters high. You can see the scale of the human body. Uh, and this performance will be attached to this large robot uh, with pneumatically actuated joysticks uh, controlling the arms and limb movements. Uh, but in addition, uh, audience members will be able to manipulate the limbs of the stick man, the mini stick man, which is the proportions of the artist. Um, and this will be an online interaction. So anyone, anywhere, at any time, 24 hours a day for the three months of the exhibition will be able to move and animate the robot. 会在二零二零年的澳大利亚双年展的时候进行展出，它呢叫做一个呃躺着的一个机球手。那么呢，呃，大家能看到就是整个这个机器人的尺寸呢是九米长、五米高，前面有一个人的比例，就看到整个是很
are, are, are using living cells, the possibility of 3D printing body parts and even 3D printing organs means that in the near future there will be an excess of organs, of organs awaiting bodies, of organs without bodies. 那么现在我们的技术已经可以三 D 打印肢体，甚至三 D 打印器官，就意味着在未来，我们呢会存在这种器官的过剩，会有器官等着人，或者器官根本就不会匹配身体的情况存在。In 2011, the first twin turbine heart was inserted into the chest. Of a terminally ill patient who remained alive long enough to fully test the function of this new artificial heart. In 2011, a patient was inserted into a new heart. The heart was powered by two Wolin engines. The patient was very fortunate. He lived a long time to make a new heart. We can use this new heart. 呃，收集足够多的数据。And what's interesting about this new twin turbine heart is that it circulates the blood in the body、uh, continuously without pulsing. 那么最有趣的一点是，这个双涡轮发动机的心脏，它可以帮助我们人体的血液不断的循环、循环、循环，但是却没有脉搏的存在。So in the near future, you might rest. Your head on your loved one's chest. They're warm to the touch. They're sighing. They're breathing. They're speaking. They're certainly alive, but they have no heartbeat. 那么在未来可能会出现这样的一个场景：我们的头倚在我们的爱人的胸口。那么这个爱人他活着，他的血液在循环，还有他的声音，有他的味道，他在跟你说话。他实实在在的活着，但是你却听不到任何心跳。So, I think what artists do best is generate contestable futures, possibilities that can be interrogated, evaluated, possibly appropriated, most likely discarded, but futures that are contingent. Rather than of necessity. Thank you very much. 那么在未来，艺术家存在的意义就是我们能够去创造一系列的可能的，但同时也存在争议的未来的可能性。这些可能性可能会被验证，可能会被否定，也可能会被扔去。但是最重要的是，我们不断的创造着未来的可能性。感谢诸位。最后想说几句话啊、呃，我知道也已经很晚了。呃，首先，呃，我知道今天的呃同学很多，啊、呃，大家注意安全，坐在后面的同学注意这个这个台阶。呃，还是想这个利用这个机会，我再次感谢一下这个今天的嘉宾呃 s t e l l a 呃，怎么去感谢呢？啊、呃，我的。我的学生都知道我，我是不太那个善于表达自己感情的人。嗯、呃，这么说吧，呃，我跟他联系，请他来，你们也能想象到，这些大艺术家，呃，时间就特别忙，啊、呃，但是他答应来，就同时又提出，说我可不可以给学生上两堂课？嗯、呃。我们今天请了 Stalock， 还有明天要做要做讲座的呃 Gary Hill， 啊、呃，也包括已经讲座呃在在设计学院办过讲座的呃 Ken 
呃 ，Leonardo， 还有 Amy， 然后还有 Nina， 呃，这些人都很有这个教育的情情怀。呃，对他们来说，我如果跟他们说，我是我学生在期待你，他们会来的；如果说我说这边有什么重要的展览，他们不一定来。呃，其中也包括。呃，下一周周一在这要做讲座的艾汉密尔顿，啊，汉密尔呃，这些艺术家，像，啊、哦，像艾汉密尔顿不说以后，等等他来了再讲，我在这就不多说。所以我还要感谢一下我们这个学工会的，应该叫会呃研会艺术学术部，学术部对啊，啊、呃，呃，这个很很有意义的事情，就这种呃。讲座高端讲座跟学生学生会在一起来做，呃，它有深远的意义。也就是说，这学校央美是学生的央美，这种学高端的学术活动，包括引领学术未来的导向的这种活动，学生会是应该走在最前面的。呃，所以说，当学生会提出要参与这个呃这个。为学生会来鼓掌。So I'd like to take this opportunity to again thank our artist Stalak. But how to thank him? You know, I am not expre very expressive of my emotions. But、uh, as far as I know, such big artists like Stalak, they are very busy. But、um, once he agreed to come here, he asked me, "Can I teach some lessons to the students?" And、uh, it was similar when、uh, it, regarding Gary Hill and Ken and Nina, because these people they are artists, but at the same time they are educators. If you tell them that the students here expect you here, they will come. If you tell them there is an such such important exhibition here, well, they might not agree because they are very busy. So,、um, so here I like to thank our graduate students、uh, union. Uh, for uh, sponsoring this、uh, lecture, because I think CAFA, the Central Academy of Fine Arts, belong to our students. So, if the students' union is taking the initiative to host such meaningful lectures, I think it's very, very good. Uh, 最后再呃再次感谢呃中央美院设计学院呃的领导对这个呃设计学院的艺术与科技学科的大力支持。呃，经过呃，经院长的这个领导班的支持，呃，我们那个申报了这个跟教育部申报的学科，然后今年四月份，呃，那个批准，呃，我们正式成立了艺术与设计学，呃，艺术与科技学科。呃，另外，就中呃中央美院视觉艺术高精尖，呃，对，呃，这一系列的活动，给予。这个权力的无障碍的支持，在在此在那个呃，再次表示感谢。下面我们有十分钟的时间，然后给大家呃有问题，咱们十分钟的那个问题和回答答案回答这个 section。So I also like to thank、uh, the School of Design for、uh, creating the、uh, art and technology discipline. And also, I thank to、uh, I like to thank Kafa Visual Art Innovation Institute for their、uh, generous support. So now、uh, we'll have ten minutes of Q and A session. 喂，大家谁有问题现在可以提了，我们只有十分钟的时间，抓紧机会。我来吧。嗯，最简单的问题，你手臂上那个耳朵能不能当艺术品收藏？ So, first question, very simple. Can I collect that ear on your arm?、Uh, collapse. Collect. Oh, collect. <laughs> <laughs> If we can reach a financial arrangement,、uh, we can arrange、uh, for Nina to do the amputation. He said, "If the price is right, we can talk about the amputation." <laughs> uh, but there is a four-meter-long sculpture 
that uh, was really a market for a large bronze. So if we can find a commission uh, for a large ear on arm sculpture, that would be a, that would be collectible <laughs> uh, in the immediate future. Now,现在其实已经有这种四米大小的这种青铜质地的它这个耳朵的这种雕塑。如果说诸位能够找到合适的这个出资方的话，也可以做一个大型的这种手臂上的耳朵的这种雕塑作品，这个是可以收藏的。您觉得裸体在您的作品中是必要的要素吗？它所蕴含的意义是什么呢？因为我觉得如果抛除裸体不谈，光是那些悬挂，我觉得就足以让人震撼了。裸体有时候感觉反而会分分散人们对这件您的
那么我觉得就是逻辑上很容易跳到，既然可以现场控制，我也可以通过互联网远程控制。好，我们最后一个问题。我的问题是，呃，实际上，呃，你有说到，随着这个，呃，科技的这个发展，我们人类会慢慢的把我们的生地的主权交出去，呃，那么我的问题是，啊、呃，两个部分，就是第一个问题是，当您在啊、呃、探索将自己的生地主权交出去的时候，呃，您作为一个，嗯，个体是什么样的感受？然后第二个问题是，呃，随着这个科技的发展，当我们，呃，整体的人类慢慢的把呃，人就是呃，这个物质身体的主权交出去以后，你怎么看待这个呃，嗯，方向的发展 ？So, uh, it seems that many of your works is talk is、uh, discussing this possibility of giving up the sovereignty of one's body for others to control. So the first question is, how do you feel when your body is controlled by others? And the second question is. Just take a step further. When in the future, sometimes that、uh, the entire human being, the sovereignty of the, their bodies are given up for the control of machines or AIs, what do you see? That do do you think that will happen, or what do you see will happen in, in that kind of future?、Uh, well, these performances were not about so much、uh, of who's in control, or even. The subject of control, but rather problematizing、uh, what a body is and how a body operates. We we never operate、uh, with free will,、uh, with our own agency. Our behaviour is constantly and mundanely、um, constrained,、uh, modulated by all sorts of social, cultural. And technological promptings, so、uh, we're always performing somewhat involuntarily. We're always simultaneously, you know, a zombie and a prosthetically augmented body.、Um, so as our behaviour becomes increasingly more complex in our interactions with. Artificial agents and robots. It means that、uh, there is less and less reason to ask this question of who is in control in a complex technological uh, uh, system. You know, every component is important in in, in the interaction.、Um, it's not.、Uh, Like that old idea of of a big brother, you know, controlling、uh, everything and everyone, I think is an outmoded、um, construct of how we operate and interact in a complex、uh, society. Uh, I think actually, uh, everything is not about control or who is controlling this problem. 我的作品更多的是在探讨身体是什么，以及身体如何运转。实际上，我们人类啊，我们从来就不拥有我们对于自己身体的全部的主权，我们也从来就不拥有完全自由的意志。实际上，我们在日常生活之中是不断的被社会的、文化的、技术的条件所限制，或者我们的身体是会被他们所影响的。所以说。我们实际上永远，我们的身体都会做一些非自愿的行动。我们从来就是僵尸化的身体，我们的身体也自古以来就是经过人为增强的身体。那么，实际上在我们现在一个日益复杂的世界里面，日益的有越来越多的机器人、人工智能的时代里面，我觉得我们更不应该去问这样一个问题：呃，这一切谁是控制者？因为越来越多的在这样一个复杂的系统之中。每一个模块，每一个环节都很重要，所以说这不像是像一九八四里面那个老大哥一样，是一个人控制所有人，而是关于在一个日益复杂的系统里面，不同的模块、不同的主体之间如何互动的一个问题。